Howdy! Today we're going to learn about the downloadable calculator that's available in your classroom. Let's get started. If you'll go to Doc Sharing, it's a tab located at the top of your course, and click on it, there's some available options. These top loading are for the discussion board sets and the math problems. Down here below is the virtual calculator. If you'll click once on that link, if you're running a PC cal computer, that calculator will begin to download. This calculator will not work on a mobile device, a Mac, or an Apple, or a tablet. It will only work on a PC computer running Windows. Once that file has downloaded into a zip format, you can click it once, and then you will see the file in a folder. My suggestion is then to minimize what's on the back of your screen, take that folder, hold it down with your mouse, and drag it to your desktop. Let go. Once you've dragged it to your desktop, the virtual calculator is sitting inside that folder on your desktop. Open the folder and you'll see three files. The file that you want to click on looks like a blue building and says VTI83, standing for the virtual calculator. If you'll double click that, you'll find that the calculator will open right on your desktop. But please note down here below, there is a small blue building icon. That icon is your door or your power on button for your calculator. You click the, the building once to make it disappear. You click the building once to bring the calculator back. If you're going to do fractions, you're going to want to use parentheses when you do those fractions. And always wrap your parentheses around your fractions. And then if you go to the math button, the math button will allow you to take those fractions and get a fraction answer. Click math once, and then you have the choice of math as a fraction or math as a decimal. We want to click the enter button once because we're telling the calculator that we want our fraction answer in a fraction format. And then we click the enter button a second time to receive a reduced and simplified fraction answer. I hope you find the downloading of this calculator supportive, and as always, contact me if I can be of any help.